Welcome into Lantern TV for another Ohio State women's basketball preview. I'm joined by Gabby Cotedad and Patrick Angles, and the Buckeyes are red hot right now, currently on a four game winning streak, most recently defeating Illinois 86 67 on Monday. They have another challenge this week as they travel to Maryland to take on the number 13 Terrapins. And as the last time these two met in Columbus, the Buckeyes came away with a shocking upset victory. So Gabby, this is the last time the Buckeyes will play a top five team in the Big, Con Big Ten Conference this season. Um, how do the Buckeyes sweep Maryland and just how do they take them by surprise and get that upset win again? Well Cole, it's not going to be easy for this Ohio State team who is traveling to College Park, Maryland. One of the toughest road games these, this Buckeye team will face this season. Although the Buckeyes got the 95-89 victory against Maryland on January 20th, Thursday is a whole different ball game. Um, the Terrapins are 12-1 and one at home, with their only loss being to number 9 Michigan. And when speaking with head coach Kevin McGuff after the victory against Illinois on Monday, he addressed this game and acknowledged how talented this Maryland team is and how great they are playing, especially coming off a road victory against Caitlin Clark and the Iowa, Iowa Hawkeyes. So Ohio State is fully aware of the challenges tomorrow will bring, but they are fully capable of pulling off the upset. Um, some things that are going to be key for this Buckeye victory. One, starting off the quarter strong. Um, the Buckeyes have been a little notorious for starting off the first uh, quarter a little slackish. Although they have been able to come back from the first quarter, slump as you will, playing against a team who has five players averaging double figures is a little trickier to come back from, and it could come back and bite them later. And then number two, stop Angel Reese. Reese is, a, Reese is Maryland's top shooter, averaging nearly 18 points a game. Reese scored 22 in the last matchup against the Buckeyes. And not only is Reese a scoring powerhouse for this Maryland team, she leads her team in rebounds, blocks, and steals. And then lastly, Taylor Theory for the Buckeye team. Theory is a freshman, a defensive powerhouse for this Buckeye team. She provides so much energy and her impact is felt immediately when she's on the court. Additionally, she leads the team with 16 blocks, and after last week's win against Nebraska, I had the opportunity to ask Rebecca Mikolashikova about her teammate, and she said she's a rising super superstar. It's going to be a challenging game for the Buckeyes. Um, another important aspect of it is the seeding purposes. So how exactly do those play into effect with the Big Ten Conference Tournament coming up with just a couple games we're go going in the remaining season? Great question. So currently, Ohio State is in a four-way tie for first place in the Big Ten Conference, along with Maryland, Michigan, and Indiana. So if the Buckeyes pull away with a victory tomorrow, they are in great shape looking ahead in the Big Ten Tournament, which is March 2nd through 6th. Like I mentioned, if the Buckeyes earn a victory tomorrow in Car College Park, they went out. It is a very high chance this team could get two buys and get their first tournament game on March 4th. Ohio State plays Maryland Thursday, but coming on to Sunday, um, Ohio State is going to return to Columbus to take on the Wisconsin Badgers. This will be the first and only time these two teams meet during the regular season. Uh, Pat, similar to Ohio State, the Buckeyes rely strongly, the Badgers, excuse me, rely strongly on their backcourt duo of Julie Pospisilova and Brooke Schramek. How does this Ohio State defense try to slow down and contain the two? Yeah, well, like you said, uh, Pospisilova and Shramek have really been lethal for the Badgers this season. Really not even on offense, but also on defense as well. Uh, so starting with Pospisilova, uh, she leads the team with 14 points and has also racked up uh, 4.1 rebounds and 1.5 steals for the Badgers this season. Uh, so like I said, she's really been getting it done both on offense and defense. And uh, you can say the same thing for Shramek. Um, Shramek's third in the team with 8.3 points and uh, also has uh, 4.2 rebounds and just over half a block per game. So uh, obviously you can see that these two uh, guards are just very versatile uh, and they can definitely play on both ends of the court. So it's definitely going to be tough for Ohio State to guard. Um, so for Ohio State defensively, if they want to slow down these two, uh, I think they're going to need to uh, deploy their pressure defense that they've been doing all year. Um, and it's, I say this especially because Wisconsin uh, turns the ball over 15.2 times a game which is fourth most in the conference. And then on the other hand, uh, the Ohio State also leads the conference with 19.1 uh, turnovers forced per game. So I think this uh, difference can really uh, put Ohio State in the advantage on the defensive end. So really, back to your question, if they really speed up the game, uh, force these two guards into mistakes and tough shots, and uh, really take these two great players out of the rhythm, they should be able to really limit their production. And you mentioned limiting, limiting their production on, you know, defensively, but what do you expect to see out of the Ohio State's offense to really elevate themselves into the game? 
Yeah, so normally I would say uh, for the offense that it needs to revolve around the perimeter and players like Mike Sell and Sheldon and all them. But I think this time it's going to be uh, with the, the forwards and the centers, um, especially with like Rebecca Mikulasikova. Uh, sorry, that was tough. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I say this because Wisconsin uh, has a unique starting lineup that has uh, five guards and no bigs. They, so they play a really small ball style play. And uh, this really shows like in their, like, their statistics for like the paint. Uh, so this year, Wisconsin ranks dead last in the Big Ten with giving up 30 rebounds a game. And they've also given up a number of uh, huge games to big forwards such as uh, Naz Hillman and Mackenzie Holmes. Uh, they've given up double-double performances to each. So uh, if you're Ohio State, I think you need to look at this and take advantage of, uh, of those stats and really uh, look inside the paint and look, especially with Mikola Sikova, uh, feeding her inside the paint. I know last game she had a very nice game versus Illinois on Sunday. She had 14 points, uh, five rebounds. So I think if the Buckeyes can get a lot of production out of her, and not only her, but Beecham and Gabby Hutcherson, I think you could see that, uh, that dub chain coming out on Sunday. Some big games for the Ohio State Buckeyes this week. Traveling to Maryland on Thursday before returning home to Columbus Sunday to host the Wisconsin Badgers. For Gabby Kodadad, Patrick Engels, and myself, Colin Plitt, thank you for tuning in for another Women's Basketball Preview on Lantern TV.